technology is transforming the healthcare landscape in Singapore. We can do and serve more with less manpower. The attendance for seniors to take part in the exercise session uh, actually increased with this new robot in the centre. As we collect the same data set of the seniors, we can learn about their behaviours and pick up anomalies which could indicate changes in their living patterns. The number of elderly Singaporeans is projected to grow significantly. By 2030, an estimated 900,000 people will be aged 65 and above. That's one out of every four Singaporeans. This demographic shift is expected to weigh heavily on our healthcare infrastructure. Delivering quality healthcare to an aging population is now an urgent concern for the healthcare authorities here. We need to harness technology in a meaningful way such that we could uh, use those technology to uh, want to enhance the accessibility to healthcare, uh, looking at how we improve clinical outcomes and at the same time making sure that uh, we can boost productivity for our healthcare providers so we can do and serve more with less manpower. Given the manpower crunch in the healthcare sector, robotic arms in hospital pharmacies are becoming a common sight in Singapore. Armed with intelligent software systems, they can pick and pack high prescription loads safely and efficiently. Based on our last statistics that we have gathered so far, uh, we are able to achieve at least a, a 50% reduction in the queuing time for our patients. So it's a win-win for our patients who need to wait um, uh, uh, shorter and at the same time our pharmacies are more productive and we can then deploy them to do more frontline work. A humanoid robot which functions as a fitness instructor is fast becoming a hit among senior citizens. Called a robo-coach, it was first conceptualised and built by a group of students at Nian Polytechnic. It has since been deployed at five senior activity centres to engage and motivate seniors in exercise routines. Built with motion sensors, RoboCoach can help seniors do exercises by providing verbal guidance in four languages – English, Mandarin, Cantonese and Hokkien. Contrary to our initial concern that seniors may hesitate to adopt this new technology accessing with a robot, they are surprisingly open and like to access with the robot, they felt that they are not left behind by technology. The senior activity sensor also feedback that the attendance for seniors to take part in the exercise session uh, actually increased with this new robot in the centre. A new version of the robot called the Telebot is now being developed by the team. There are plans to deploy Telebot to the homes of senior citizens to improve their physical and social well-being. Its functionality include remote telepresence, so the caregivers can any time uh, connect to the robot and uh, through the robot to interact with the elderly. When the caregiver is not avail available, the robot can also rely on its artificial intelligence to chat with the elderly, uh, monitor their status, remind them to take medication, and suggest activities. In this way, we can keep the elderly connected and engaged all the time in their daily life. Robotic companions aside, the Singapore Management University is leading an initiative to enable elderly Singaporeans to age in place with a sensor-enabled home. Called Shine Seniors, the team installed unobtrusive sensors around the homes of senior citizens to monitor their daily living patterns. Any deviations from the norm, such as prolonged inactivity, as a result of fainting or falling, can be detected. Community caregivers can then be activated to provide personalised care and intervention in a timely manner. Over time, as we collect the same data set of the seniors, we can learn about their behaviours and pick up anomalies which could indicate changes in their living patterns that can be linked to various well-being indicators such as whether they are at risk of social isolation, at risk of deterioration in their frailty, or at risk of transitioning from healthy cognition levels to mild cognitive impairment. Shine Seniors has so far benefited more than 100 seniors living alone. The SMU team is now studying the commercial viability of the project with the objective of reaching out to more seniors in the near future. Beyond looking at potential partnerships with care organisations, 
uh, we are also looking at expanding the partnership to healthcare organisations because I think that uh, inputs from healthcare professionals and clinicians are important. Um, lastly, uh, partnerships that will allow us to study the viability of such uh, care as a service. Uh, in the startup space, we'll, we'll continue to collaborate and uh, try some of the solutions in our local hospital settings, uh, test and validate some of their solutions. Hopefully, they will take off uh, both locally and uh, globally. Uh, for big NMMCs, uh, big companies, we're hoping that we could co-partner together to look for and co-create solutions together that can benefit uh, Singapore and the global market. Thank you.